ironic because it comes back around that you have sweetness stitched into your letterman's jacket. Yeah, yeah. Now, sweetness was the nickname for the Walter, great Walter yes, Pace. Yes, yes. It used to tell me I used to run like Walter. And so, uh, you know, I became a big fan of Walter at a young age. And then, uh, you know, I had people tell me I looked like him. So I was like, okay, cool. I'm going to become <laughs> sweetness too. So I became sweetness. <laughs> So your, your dad's nickname is Puddin' and Puddin'? your name's Sweetness. Yeah. Those are the Smith boys. Yeah, exactly. Um, what were you looking for in a college? Because you could have gone anywhere. By the time you're, you're ready to walk out, you're, you're the parade All-American. You're, you know, right. you're all U.S. I wanted to go to an organization where I had a chance to play. And I felt like Florida gave me the best opportunity to play. Around this time, though, you lose your grandmother, and, and you're now launching, you know, now you're becoming a man, right? I right. mean, you're, you're going off to college. Right, right. How, how hard was that to lose her? You know, it, it happened uh, it, in Florida, like most states, they have the Super 25 football team, State of Florida versus State of Georgia, and I was on the State of Florida's team during this, rep, during this transition between high school and college. And while I was down there preparing to play in the game, I got a, I was asleep on the floor. Got a, Emmett, you need to come with us. And right when I woke up, I had a sense that something happened to my grandmother. I told you not to bring this up, man. <laughs> um, and, and so I knew in my spirit that she had left. And, and all I wanted to do was get home because she was such a spiritual person. Right before I left to go to college, um, even right before I left to go down to the All-Star game, she gave me this Bible verse. And, uh, and the Bible verse was pretty simple. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not onto your own understanding. In all thy ways, acknowledge him, and he shall direct your path. And I meditated on that word for so long. And everything that I did from that point on was all around that. Whenever I found myself in a situation, even going to Florida, and I'm competing for a job, and I got, Florida only told me they had five running backs, but they ended up with 10. <laughs> and I'm struggling to get in there because now I'm entering into this big time program and they're trying to break me down, <laughs> trying to break me down, trying to put weight on me. I would go to my room and I would read. and I would meditate on it. And it was just one of those things where I told you not to do this. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. You go to Florida, they do the bait and switch on you. <laughs> they tell you they got five running backs, yeah. all of a sudden there's ten. Yeah. What what are we talked about goals and what you were doing in high school. What are your goals when you get to college? Goals in college, uh, obviously to start <laughs> and uh, to uh, get over about fifteen hundred yards, um, being modest, and and um, score about twenty touchdowns. Average 125 yards a game. Um, win games. Win games. And that's, that, those are my, my goals. Do you remember your first start? Yes, I do. It was a hell of a first start. Yes, it was. It looked like this. Here's Smith leading the way. McGrady. Smith's gone. Touchdown, Florida. Smith looking for 200 yards in his second touchdown. Look at the move to the five. Oh, my, Emmett Smith. There you go, Emmett Smith. He now holds the record for rushing by a freshman running back in Florida history. Yep. Man, things are going about as well as they can go for you on the football field. Yeah, maybe individually, yes, but not for the overall program. Um, we we kind of like uh, was in the middle of the road. Six and five, seven and four, uh, nothing real, uh, uh, really, really, nothing really to be proud of. Uh, so while you, the individual goals are being met, 
Yeah. The first thing on your list, which team goals, yeah, it's not. Not quite been met. And that was the disappointing part because while I was at the University of Florida, we cycled through three different offensive coordinators for three straight years, all three years I was there. So I never had a chance to really grow in offense and really um, become a complete football player like I wanted to become. Your junior year rolls around. You have another great year individually. Uh, your head coach resigns. Yeah. Steve Spurrier's on his way in. Right. And that just happens to be when they're allowing juniors to head to the NFL draft. And that's, I mean, you've done all you can do at the University of Florida individually. All right. Did you have a sense of where you might go in the draft? Didn't have a clue. Was it first round, no doubt, or was it, I hope I'm in the first round? Well, there was a lot of talk. You know, everybody speculate. Mel Kuyper and everybody else speculate that he's a first round, for sure, first round draft pick. But I've seen the for sure first round draft picks not get drafted at all. And people, to be fair, were saying, well, he's too small. He's yes. too small. He's not fast enough. Yeah. He, he's not NFL I'm not, ready. I'm not. I'm not. I don't have this. I don't have that. I don't have what it takes. Jimmy Johnson, the great Jimmy Johnson, is coming off a 1-15 in 15 season with our friend Troy Aikman. And th I know you wanted to be a Cowboy since you were seven, but they stunk at that time. Not only did, not only did they stink, <laughs> but I, I think they were sitting at the 22nd pick right. in that draft. And so... But now I, they make a move. I didn't know whether or not I would go to them or not, but I wasn't even thinking about that. I thought I was thinking the top ten based off of what people were saying. And I was nervous. You know, when I got that call from, from Jimmy, I was like, the Cowboys? <laughs> <laughs> would I like to wear a star on my helmet? I'm like, heck yeah. That, like, was, yes. that was the question, right? Would you like to wear a star Isn't on your helmet? How would you like to wear a star on your helmet? I'm like, Coach, I would love to wear a star on my helmet. You don't understand. I mean, I don't, I don't think that they truly understood how much I absolutely love the Dallas Cowboys. Funny enough, you're rooming with Michael Irvin. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> you're right. <laughs> and he sees you writing down your goals. I mean, we talk about this stuff all the time on this show, but you're actually doing what your high school coach had taught you to do because right. now it's not a dream, it's a goal, and your goal is to... Become the all-time leader in Russia as a rookie. And he looked at me and started laughing. <laughs> <laughs> started laughing like this dude doesn't know what he just got into. and Because um, he'd been there. Yeah, he has been there. Michael had, had been there. Matter of fact, he was coming off of a knee injury. And so, and he had gone through a 1-15 season, so he knew the challenge that laid a lot ahead of us. Yeah. And so, I guess he was trying to give me a dose of reality.